hello! So today I want to show you how to draw an otter and give you some tips about how to draw animals in general. Whenever you're drawing an animal that you're not very familiar with, it's a very good idea to look at the references and see what makes this animal special. And as you can see for the otter, they're, they have very long body, they have small and kind of vertically squished down head. If you look at it, it's not a big round circle head, it's more like a squashed oval. And their eyes are far apart compared to some other animals. Also their eyes are small and their paws and legs are pretty small compared to the whole body. And their tail has this very distinct uh, shape. It is this very strong fat tail uh, that goes directly to the point. And you can always you can look at the head and of course you can choose which uh, species you want to draw. But I always recommend that you look at some photos and then you see what are the things that are different than on the animals that I normally drew. So, for instance, with otters you can see that the ear is placed much further and they can turn it a lot. Because you can see on some other photos you'll see the ear is not in the same position. It depends on the species, of course. But it is different than in some other species that we all know very well, like in cats or dogs. So this can really help you when you try to learn how to draw an animal. Then another thing that you can do is look at the references of drawings, how other people simplified authors. And you can see the same thing. They have kind of big tip of the nose, no snout, uh, eyes far apart and small ears very much to the side. And of course this tail and long body. So let's try our very simplified version. I'll show you the first one that is really simple and really cute. We will simplify the head into a circle, like it was not squashed that much. But you'll st see that with some tricks we can still make this look like an otter. One trick is to make an otter like snout. Now the cat has this kind of snout and the dogs have this kind of snout. Do you say snout? Nose. And the otters have very similar snout but it looks a bit different because the upper part is also dark. It's not the same like material but it's also dark so when you see it from the far it looks like this, more like a koala's. Then we'll just draw an oval and some half ovals for the legs and paws. If you want you can do this instead of normal oval you can make them like this so they're more like fanned out, but both work. And eyes a little bit more far apart, not too big because otters have small eyes. And little round ears. And of course whiskers. And you've got an otter. We add a tail because that's really important for otter. And this is one of her characteristics. This is a very simple way to draw an otter. It's very easy and you can anybody can do it. So that's it. That's how we draw an otter. Hope to see you next time. I'll share you more of my bullet journal link and I'll sh also share some more painting. Maybe we'll paint otters next time. Bye bye!